Howdy folks, it's me, Fluffy, coming back at you again with another good episode, buddy. Now let me tell you folks, this one, it's going to be a rootin' tootin' episode, so make sure y'all hold on to your trousers, because we're going to be talking about top 10 facts about cowboys y'all probably didn't know about. So, without further ado, let's get right on into it. Roll it! Number 10. Cowboys were invented in negative 1700 by hardcore gamer Cowabunga Boyd. Dr. Boyd was infatuated with wrangling and decorating old soup cans, but the soup cans aren't really relevant. He enjoyed going out on the plains of Ohio and rounding up sheep. Once he realized that sheep are really dumb and always like to step on little spiky balls, he decided to try wrangling deer. However, the deer kept trying to tenderly nibble his little ears and it freaked him out. He finally settled on wrangling cows because they're fat like him and they accepted his freaky disfigurement. Number nine. The name Cowboy comes from the song Cowboy by Kid Rock. When they realized that Mr. Rock could actually smell a pig from a mile away, they began worshiping him as a god. They wanted to honor him by carrying on his legacy, so they named themselves Cowboys and began drinking bottles of scotch and watching lots of crotch. Number eight. If you've ever had a foot fetish and decided to look at the feet of cowboys, you've certainly noticed their spurs. However, spurs weren't always used for just kicking horses and opening cans of tuna. Spurs were originally invented in order to entertain ants. Cowboys respected ants because of how many legs they had. Cowboys always wanted to have that many legs, but no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't get the other legs to stay on. They gave the ants rides on their spurs because they liked riding them around like a ferris wheel. Number seven. When cowboys are out on the range alone at night with nothing to do besides enjoy the company of other cowboys and their ant buddies, they get bored and lonely. How do they remedy this? They call over to the crows because crows are really good at having feathers. Cowboys love feathers and use them to make gorgeous but ineffective cups. Number six. Cowboys don't like going to the bathroom because it makes them feel subservient to their cows. Because of this, they do their best to hold it in all day long. It's hard for them to find trees to hide behind and let loose because out on the prairie, there's only one tree. It smells really bad because that's the tree that all the cowboys relieve themselves on. If cowboys don't want to use the pea tree, they often hide behind the wimpiest cow and pee under them to make it look like the cow's the one peeing. Then, all the cool cows laugh at the wimpy cow instead of the cowboy. It's time for number five. Before fame, Andy Beersack, the lead singer of the rock and roll group called Black Veil Brides, was one of the rootinest tootinest cowboys in the West. If you listen to his lyrics and his vocal stylings, you can hear a lot of the cowboy left within his soul. The screams and shouts you hear from the vocalist are almost identical to the kinds of calls he used to round up them daggum cows. In the song, Knives and Pins, there's a line that says, and I can't go on without your love, you lost, you never held on. This is in reference to his old partner on the range, Carolina Carl. Old Carolina was known as the most edgy cowboy and him and Andy were intimately involved. When Carolina left, Andy began taking on a new edgy persona and wrote the line to spite Carolina. Number four. Cowboys played a major role in World War I. The Germans didn't have any open fields in which to ride horses or wrangle nothing. The Germans were obsessed with cowboy culture. According to the data of the time, it was estimated that 89% of German forces would be willing to quit being in the army if they had the chance to head to America and try cowboying. Because of this, the United States came up with a plan. They would send a cowboy to Germany to pass out flyers to German soldiers, asking them to fly to America due to a cowboy shortage. The flyer said there was a plane waiting, filled to the brim with horses and saddles. The Germans flocked to the plane almost immediately. However, instead of taking them to the range, 
They brought them to a deserted island that only had one horse on it. The Germans all killed each other fighting over the horse until there was one German standing. That German? Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Number three. Back in the day, cowboys didn't have the same technology we have today. They weren't able to look down at their smartphones to figure out where the nearest watering hole is. They'd often take their big old hat and toss it way up into the air. They could get all kinds of readings this way. If it got struck by lightning, that meant that there was a storm a-brewing. If it got stuck in mid-air, that meant that there were ghosts a-lurking. If the hat came straight back down, that meant that the cowboy was going to die from getting hit in the head with a hat. You, number two. Cowboys spend months out in the open field at a time, so how in the world do they always stay so darn dry? They're lassos, of course. When it starts raining cows and chickens, they bring out their lasso and whip it around their head faster than a rabbit going hog wild for a carrot. The force generated from the lasso creates a vortex of wind around their head, pushing all the water right into their canteen. Refreshing! This is also why cowboys have such strong and muscular arms. Time for number one, son. Sadly, cowboying is now a thing of the past. Pritchard Penderscrew was the last cowboy to ever exist. However, cowboys are still honored yearly in the Yee Yee Giddy Up convention. At the convention, fans dress up one of two ways. The first half dress up like a classic rootin' tootin', gunslingin', tobacco spittin' cowboy. The big boys, however, glue horse hair all over themselves and strap on a saddle. For a whole three weeks, the cowboys ride the horses around the Marriott Convention Center and eat nothing but chewing tobacco. The horses are required to neigh the entire three weeks or else they'll be turned into glue. Eee boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what, buddy, that was a heck of a video, wasn't it? Well, I know I sure learned a lot when I was looking up all these crazy cowboy facts. If you learned something too, it'd really mean a lot to me if you'd go ahead and just give me a little thumbs up down there. Maybe even subscribe to the old channel, Rooney. And ring that little bell icon if you want to be a rootin' tootin' cowboy just like your old buddy, Fluffy. Anyways, folks, remember what I always say, and it's also the cowboy motto. Share with your family and friends, because everybody loves Floff Tins. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Stay awesome.